how to add captions to a video. Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add captions to any video online using Veed's online video editor. Here's an example of what the captions are going to look like. Here's a bunch of different styles as well. And then here's everything we're going to cover in the video with the timestamps in case you want to skip ahead. First, we're going to cover how to add captions to a video manually, then how to add closed captions to a video automatically, then how to download your closed captions as an SRT file, how to change your captions font and style, and then finally, how to download your video with the captions hard-coded into the video. And with that being said, let's get started. The link to Veed is gonna be in the description down below. So once you're on Veed, the first step is to click on new project, and then we're taken into Veed's video editor, and here we want to click on upload the files. Our documents will then open up, and we just want to select the video that we want to add captions to, and then we click on open. Now our video is imported into Veed, and as you can see, we can see it on the video canvas and in the timeline, and if we press play, Hi, my name is Alec, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to auto- As you can see, we have our video within Veed's video editor. Now, before I show you how to add captions to your video automatically, here's how to add captions to your video manually. So to add captions to our video, we're just gonna click on the subtitle tab in the left toolbar, and here we have three options, and we're gonna begin with adding subtitles manually, so we click on manual subtitles, and now we can choose to add our first subtitle. So if we take a look and listen, if I press play. Hi, my name is Alec, as you can see, the first subtitle is, Hi, my name is Alec, or that's what I want my first subtitle to be. So to begin, I just click on Add Subtitles, and then here, as you can see, our first subtitle has appeared in the timeline. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is add the text. So I'm going to type, Hi, my name is Alec, just like so. So as you can see, now we have our first subtitle, and we can see it on the actual video canvas, and then also in the timeline. So if I press play now, Hi, my name is Alec, and in this video, I'm going to be showing... As you can see, we have a first subtitle, but it's way too long and the timing is off. So to correct this, if I just go back into my subtitles, we need to adjust the timing. Now, there's a few different ways we can adjust the timing. To adjust the timing, we can either click and drag the subtitle directly within the timeline and just click and drag it to have it start and finish wherever we want. So now if I press play... Hi, my name is Alec, and... So I think this is pretty perfect. Hi, my name is Alec, and... But let's say it was wrong and I want to be really precise with my subtitle timing position and I want to place it at exactly 0.5 seconds. Well, here I can go into the actual subtitle editor and I can adjust the specific timing by inputting the actual time using my keyboard. So I'm going to put 0.5 and then hit enter. As you can see in the timeline, our subtitle has now changed. And then finally, the last way, let me just click and drag this back. Let's say I want it to begin exactly where my playhead is right now. Here, all I have to do is place the playhead and then click on the beginning stopwatch for this subtitle. So if I click on the stopwatch, as you can see the beginning timing for that subtitle then adapts to the position of the playhead. And then all we have to do to add more subtitles is to repeat this process. So we click add new line. As you can see, we now have a new subtitle and then here we can adjust them. Now that's how to add captions manually to our video, but that takes a lot of time. And especially when your video is a lot longer than mine, which is only a few seconds. If you have a 10 minute, a 20 minute video, it can take a lot of time to add captions. So here's how to add captions automatically to your videos. So again, to add captions to our video, we're going to go back into the subtitle tab in the left toolbar. And this time we're going to select the auto subtitle tool to automatically add captions to our video. So if we click this, here we're then prompted to select the language that we are speaking in within our video. So in this video, we speak in English, but if you click on the drop down menu, you can select from a bunch of different others. If you want the British spelling for the English, we type in English and then select Great Britain. And then all I have to do now is click on start. So if I go ahead and click on start, depending on the length of the video, V takes anywhere between a few seconds to a few minutes to automatically transcribe the audio from your video into text and turn that text into captions. So as you can see, this one was done in literally just a few seconds and we have the captions that have appeared on our screen straight away. We can see them in our subtitle editor in the timeline and on the video canvas. So now if I press play from the beginning. Hi, my name is Alec, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to auto caption your videos online. Hi. So as you can see, our subtitles look pretty good and they are pretty accurate. And this was all done automatically using Veed's auto subtitle tool. But let's say I don't want my subtitle to be this long. I want this in two sentences. Well, what I can do is find an area in the timeline that I want to split by listening to the audio. So let's do this right now. Hi, my name is Alec. So I want to split the captions exactly here. So I want this to be two separate ones. So now what I can do is use the split subtitle tool. So if I click it, 
it now splits this caption into two. So now I have three individual captions instead of just two. So as you can see now, it says, hi, my name is Alec on its own. And then the next one is, and in this video, I'm going to show you. So if I press play. Hi, my name is Alec. And in this video, I'm going to be as you can see, that's how to add captions to your video automatically. Now, let's say you want to download these as an SRT file, as a closed captions file, so you can upload them to platforms such as LinkedIn, YouTube, or Facebook as closed captions. Well, to do this, all we have to do to download them as an SRT file is click on the Options tab when we're in the Subtitle menu, and at the bottom, under the Download Subtitle section, we can select the format that we want to download them as. So here we're going to choose SRT file, which is the Subrip Subtitle file, and then just click on download. And as you can see, the subtitles have now been downloaded as an SRT file to our computer. But if you're not looking to download them as an SRT file and you want them embedded in your video, the first thing you might want to do is actually change the style and font of your captions to make them look nice. So to do this, all we have to do, still in the subtitle menu, we're going to click on the style tab right here. And as you can see, we have a bunch of different styling options that have appeared. And at the bottom, we also have a bunch of different presets that we can choose from. So one of my favorites is this white subtitle with the black drop shadow or this white text with the black see-through box. Now, I do want to mention that you can click and drag to place this anywhere on the timeline. You can also click and drag to adjust these just like so. And then you can also click and rotate. And if you place it anywhere on the video canvas, the changes will affect every single caption in the timeline. If we go back into the subtitle menu, you can also see that we can change the font size. So I can make these Anton, I can make them a little bit smaller, or I can make them a little bit bigger. I can change my text color, and then I can also change the letter spacing, the line height, and much, much more. And then once I'm happy with my captions and the way they look on my video, to hard code my captions into my video, all I have to do is click on the export button in the top right, V then starts to render my project with its captions hard-coded into the actual MP4 file. Then once it's finished, I can preview it and then go ahead and download it straight to my computer. And that is how to add captions to a video online. If you have any questions about adding captions to video, please let us know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe button, and the notification bell. Thanks for watching.